Media Bros. Hi! Hello world, this is Roxy from Media Bros bringing you another episode of Character Review Into. The show where I review characters who are not very popular, especially to the people who do not read comics. And in that format, I review characters who are relevant to the new movies or shows that are being released soon. So as many of us know, the Black Panther film will be released next February of next year. Meaning we still have some time before our official trailer drop. However, the villain has been confirmed for the movie, and that villain is named Eric Killmonger. Upon request, I decided to do a review on this character to catch everyone up and let everyone know who this character is. A really cool fact about this character in the movie is that Eric Killmonger will be portrayed by Michael B. Jordan, an actor who I've grown a lot of respect over the years for. Although I've never seen him play a villain, so that's the only thing that's making me a little nervous about it, but Michael B. Jordan is a great actor and I'm sure he can pull it off. So I'm not too worried. Anyway, kick back for the next few minutes and let's learn about Eric Killmonger. Eric Killmonger first appeared in Jungle Action number 6 in September 1973. He was created by Don McGregor and drawn by Rich Buckler. Born in the Kingdom of Wakanda, Eric's original name was Jadaka. However, in his growth, he was exiled from Wakanda. This was a result from his father helping Ulysses Claw when he attacked Wakanda for the Vibranium. In the wake of the attack, Claw was defeated by T'Challa and Jadaka's father was killed. Jadaka moves to New York and takes on the name of Eric Killmonger. He would study there and eventually develop a hate for T'Challa. He plotted one day that he would overthrow T'Challa's rule and avenge his father's death. Later, Eric would eventually reconnect with T'Challa, asking to come back to Wakanda, which of course he was accepted back. He will settle in the area of Wakanda that was later named after him in honor of his father. As T'Challa carries the mantle of Black Panther, he is often away on many trips to America to team up the Avengers. Eric noticed this behavior and he began to plot against T'Challa. In order to restore Wakanda back to his original ways before T'Challa took the throne, while he was away, Eric staged an uprising to take over Wakanda. However, with Black Panther's return, Eric and T'Challa would eventually enter Kaba and T'Challa would seemingly kill him. Eric would eventually be resurrected by the Mandarin using his rings. He uses his second chance of life to go back to his quest to take down T'Challa's ring. And at first, it would appear that he would succeed, seemingly killing Black Panther. However, later it was discovered that it was only an LMD, meaning it was a mechanical clone. With his guard down, T'Challa eventually confronts Eric and defeats him for a second time. Eric Killmonger is only human. However, he did acquire a synthetic version of the heart-shaped herb, which is a herb that gives the Black Panther his abilities. So this heightens his own abilities. Eric has super acute senses, allowing him sight in areas that would be completely dark. He also has peak human strength, speed, stamina, durability, and agility. Not only with these abilities, Eric is a master martial artist, and he also possesses a genius level intellect, making Eric Killmonger a force to be reckoned with. Pretty interesting stuff. So what do you think about Eric Killmonger? Let me know in the comments below what you think about this character and also what do you think about Michael B. Jordan playing him? Also let me know in the comments of who you think I should do for next Sunday. Remember everyone, I do read comments and I do take in consideration of all your requests. So go ahead and comment away. Until then, everyone just wait patiently for that official Black Panther trailer and I'm sure we won't be disappointed. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you. That's Character Review in 2. I'm Roxy from Media Bros. Thank you all so much for watching. You all have a nice day. See ya.